Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, Mortis here, and welcome to the first episode of the Hardcore Challenge. Now, you couldn't see it, but I actually said first episode in air quotes. Why? Because this is actually the second episode. The first episode, it got all sorts of corrupted. It was the strangest thing, but the video is just messed up beyond repair. So unfortunately, you don't get to see that, but luckily I can give you a quick summation. So, I went into here. I started off with a view various sundries, and I went into the first raid to do the first task, which was debut. I went in, I killed three scavs of customs, and then I died. And then I thought to myself, hey, you know self, I should go into the lab and see if I can get myself ultra decked out. So I took the starting uh, fort and kiver armor that I got, along with the gift items, which was the M1A, that uh, tan one, beige one, whatever and went in there, killed a couple of scav raiders, and then was just completely blown away by a player. And that was basically the episode. You didn't miss much. Uh, unfortunately, you didn't get to see me kill these three scavs, which was amazing. Let me tell you, I shot them all with my gun. With bullets from my gun. It was amazing. So we're back. We're getting ready to actually do this in earnest. I am now certain that everything is running as it should be. I am on a completely new rig, a completely fresh install, so I will be kind of tweaking things as time goes. But I think I have it in a good place. So what are we going to do today? Well, we have multiple tasks that we need to do. I lied. We have two tasks that we need to do. We need to find the Selawas, and we need to find MR-133 shotguns. Unfortunately, you can no longer buy these at level 1. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to go in and find them ourselves. Look at that, five kills. I did things. It's amazing. Uh, so, what we're going to do is we're going to go, I do believe, into... Where do we want to go to? We want to go to Interchange. Because I want to see... Hang on. I actually need to start remembering all these trades and everything. It was Peacekeeper, I do believe, that had the backpack for the hard drive. Yes, because we need some backpacks. Uh, we won't be trading in for that. i got to start identifying things. I'll probably do that off-camera. Uh, your trade is for level 1 dog tags. Okay. So, we're gonna go in using just what we currently have available to us. Uh, I think we'll take the... I think we'll take the MPX. We will grab ourselves... A scav vest. And just a regular old backpack for now. It feels so weird going back to this way after being just so flush with cash and gear. It's definitely interesting. So we'll drop you on you. Uh, was I supposed to modify this? It does not look like it, so we'll just go ahead and keep it as is. This stuff is going to go away very quickly because I don't get to insure any of it. But that's okay. I think we'll be all right. We'll go ahead and drop in the painkillers, the bandage, and the cheese. Get those mounted up. We need to keep one of those in there so that way we don't chafe the bag. We have inside of these PSO, so we'll grab another... Uh, we don't have another PSO, so we'll take a PST. Alright, and we don't have any sorts of armor. I don't think we can buy any yet. Now we could trade for five masks. We could buy a helmet, but that's kind of useless when we don't have the... Uh, when we don't have the chest armor. It's just like, hey, you definitely shouldn't shoot me in the face. Uh, anyways, so, uh, do we have everything we need to go in there? We do, it looks like. Let's go ahead and get into the interchange, where hopefully we'll have a pretty good time. Uh, that's right, I can just do this. I can go, I'm going to go to interchange at this time and ready, because I can't ensure a single solitary thing. Alright, so we're gonna have to play this kind of low and slow. We need to remember that we are no longer big and beefy and burly. We have to play it safe and cautious. Uh, one thing that I will note is that I'm probably going to shorten the length of the videos, the hour to hour and a half videos that I was doing before. A little bit rough on myself, I will honestly say. Um, because, if you may or may not notice, I record these videos basically every night after work. The reason I do that is so I can kind of have a real-time experience with the people leaving comments. Uh, so, you know, 
coming home from a long day at work and then suddenly spending another, you know, hour to hour and a half of my time generally puts me, you know, after dinner and everything else, at just about the time where I have maybe an hour or so of free time before I have to start racking, so I figure it's best if I kind of, yeah, kind of shorten these out a little bit. Not sure if I actually got him. Does not look like it, so the question is, where did he go? Luther just about all my ammo to get that kill. Alright, back up and running. I feel like I should probably... Yeah, I'm going to pack a couple of mags here real quick because I really am going to need those. Oh, and I'm already out of meds. Oh, dear. This is already starting off oh so well. I'll just leave it at this for right now. We'll get this one completely packed. They changed the. That all sounds so close, and I'm frightened. They changed the. Ooh, Nadar. They changed the uh, shadow rendering, and apparently now it's much better than it was. No, not the vest. I need the body, please. Not the vest! So the shadows definitely look better, like, inside, but outside they kind of flicker a little bit. It's a little disconcerting. Yes! What are you? Squash. Sure, why not? What are you? Circuit board. Whoops. Did not mean to do that. I'm having such a rough go of this already. Eight five five, not the greatest, but not terrible. Really want to know who's doing all the shooting. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay. Yep, that's still a thing. All right, still got to be careful. Still don't have any armor. I guess at this point we might as well just scavenge whatever we can, right? Oops, can't put that in there, my bad. Got to figure out how I want to go about that. I think I'm going to go in this way towards Ollie. It'd be a little dangerous, but there's a lot of PCs in there that I could potentially get the hard drives from. 
And I figure if I can get myself a couple of hard drives and get out, that's got my backpack sorted. At least for a couple of raids. realize I'm doing something very dumb because they could shoot me from up there. Should, or at least could be, some scabs over here I gotta watch out for. What's interesting, and I don't know if it's because I reinstalled or if I'm not, you know, on new hardware or whatever, but like looting seems a lot more responsive now. Like I'll show you here in a second. I just walk up here instead of that delayed reaction. As soon as I press F, it opens. Uh, I can't stick that on anything, so we'll be in there. I think that's above us. Those footsteps were definitely above us. That does not fill me with confidence. I think I want to go in this direction and go up the stairs there. So I can get a better view of everything in front of me. Little pistol action there. Might as well kind of examine things along the way. Somebody's been through here. No, wait, no, they haven't. I think this one is the one that's open. The other one is not. Let's see if we can find ourselves a hard drive in here. Capacitors, circuit board, DVD player. Go ahead and examine you. There we go. What a terrible time to go. Ah! Uh, uh, well, that was unfortunate. Thank you. 
He blended in quite well. One scav killed with a headshot. Because that was the only thing I could see through the uh through the grate there. Uh okay, well. Does that get us level three? It does not. Alright, so. Hmm, how do we want to do this now? Because I still need. I need silhouettes, I need shotguns, I need. Maybe we do a pistol run. We do a pistol run. Yeah, but if we do that. Alright, so. Let's figure out what do we need for a pistol run. A good pistol run. We need to go and get ourselves. We'll get another bag and another vest. We're gonna be cheapskates here for a bit. So let's go ahead and equip you. And equip you. And then we will drop you and you into here. We'll keep one more on our body there. Drop these guys in here. Four, five, and six. Um, 15, 30, 45, 60. 60 should be decently enough, I guess. Yeah, if I haven't killed a scav by that point, I'm pretty much hosed. Uh, let's go back into interchange. Let's do one more attempt at this. We, I need, I need those hard drives. Well, I... The hard drives will make things more beneficial, at the very least. And I feel like Interchange has generally been pretty kind to me. That was an outlier, because I've, I really don't know why he was there. It's a strange place to camp. Oh boy, I have come into this raid late. Like, super late. Nothing in there. Boo hiss. Alright, so we're gonna go into the underground. That's gonna be where a couple of scavs are most likely located. Hopefully we don't have too much of an issue with them. It's interesting because now that they've added the thorax, which I don't know if I showed you that, they added the thorax. I don't know what happens if you get hit in the thorax. I assume you have trouble breathing and wheeze and whatnot. I don't know. But it's an additional healing point, which means you're going to consume more healing if you get hit in more places. And unfortunately, the little pocket cheese just does 100. And that's not enough to recover from, you know, multiple wounds. We have, we do. We have at least one scav. Go ahead and say my aim was a bit off there. <laughs> Got him.
Yes, round, sure. Need to just kind of hoard everything I can. Armor, yes. Just take everything. Can that fit in there? It can. Okay. I don't know if we, I don't know if that's useful. It could be useful. Duct tape, I do believe I can get the car from there, but I don't think I can get that until level two. I don't even know what those weapons are, but I don't want any part of them. But they do sound amazing. What is my extract? It's probably going to be... Oh, Northwest. Okay. Ooh. This guy got to be kind of swift. <sighs> TT. Oh no. Yep. Just going to use this as a staging point. I'm not keeping anything in there. T plug. Okay. What am I looking for? I'm looking for Silawas. This should be S and B. Not worried about that just yet. Then we have SP. Trying to keep ahead of the people with the bigger weapons. We'll see if I actually succeed.
Now I still do want to go for the hard drives, but... Need to be a little careful here. Not really sure what that is. That's probably energy. Ooh, a wreck battery. Okay. There's a couple of military chests, or at least one military chest in here. We'll give this a quick go and hope for the best. Ooh. Something big in here. So I don't know if it'd be better or worse to use this thing. This thing at my level is pretty bad. We should do like an over under on if they're ever going to fix that hitching. Like, I really want them to, but at the same time, I don't know if they really can. Because it's been so prevalent for so long, it makes me think that it's just, it's something that's baked into the engine itself. This is going to be our spot. We're going to check for hard drives here. Hopefully unimpeded. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and drop. We'll drop the TTs. We got one hard drive out of the deal, so that's not too terrible. Shall we go into the belly of the beast? And by that I mean idea. Because unless somebody has been there to murder them yet, there will be scabs. Oh yes. There will be scabs. Is that bag always there? I remember that bag being there. I don't remember a lot of things though. Let's be frank here. I've been away from this game for just a little bit. DP 
few rounds. I hear footsteps over there. This seems like a poor life choice. Alright, the scabs are yelling at somebody. <sighs> oh, do I engage or do I run away? Those who choose to run away live to fight another day. I think that is going to be my low-level philosophy. Although... You know what? I feel personally assaulted by him. No, <laughs> we're leaving. We are leaving this madness before I lose my life. Oh god, you can't even... You can't even take more than a couple steps. Oh no. Oh no. Just use it all. Just use it all, man. We're gonna need every little last bit of this. And I hereby decree that the AK-74U is hereby banned as a ranged weapon of choice. No more will I use that gun at low level. <laughs> or, well, no, let's, let's not 
let's not be that hasty. Let's say instead that we can't use it on automatic. We could try to semi-auto shot our way into victory, but we cannot automatic anymore. I want to go and loot that chest over there. I've seen a Selawa over there before. A terrible idea. Ah! Okay, so it, yeah, it's cumulative now. Okay, that's good to know. So it, it used to be where you could do like two or three stutter steps and you wouldn't take any damage. Ah! But it seems like it's just three steps. So if I do one, two. Ah! Yep. The third full step gets you. That's kind of neat too. I kind of like that. Because before you could just kind of stutter your st stutter step your way into victory, or at least escape. But now you actually have to actually have to work for a living. Why am I stopping here? Somebody explain this to me. Why am I examining? Why is this happening? Hmm. Right. So I don't have to jump. <laughs> he seems injured. Oh shit! <coughs> oh, that's right. My hydration is going down in <laughs> at a very exponential rate. Oh, okay. Yep, 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 yep. Pop the pill. Pop the pill. Pop the pill, man. We gotta go. 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 We. Gotta go. we 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 gotta go loot. We gotta go loot. There we go. Sweet. So if we get out with these rubles, we have already paid for the backpack and vest that we took put on for this raid. Works out pretty well, I think. Ah. Ow. How's my health? Ah, screw it! Ah. Feel the pain! Ah. Feel the burn! Huh. Love yourself! Ah. Love it! Ah. 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 Okay. So we are successful. We got out with one hard drive. So we can get one of the bigger backpacks. And, uh... Yeah. Not too terrible, not too terrible. I think what we'll do next time is we'll go and we will get the... I think we'll take a pistol into customs next time, and that way we can see if we can get the MR-133 shotgun. Mm -hmm. eh, almost. Anyways, with that in mind, I thank you very much for watching. And I will catch you on the next exciting adventure, and hopefully I will have all the kinks worked out by then. So until then, adios.